Jabez passes a steep high altitude gravel road located between the towns of Lady Grey and Barclay East in the quiet rural region of the Eastern Cape close to the Lesotho border in the Fitterberg Mountains which is itself a western spur of the mighty Drakensberg. Very few people traverse this pass other than local farmers and avid adventure travelers. We recommend completing the entire circuit of over 40 kilometers, eventually arriving back at the R58 after quite a long but fabulous gravel road loop, which includes Jabez Pass. It's best driven in a clockwise direction if the pass is going to be driven at any point after 11 in the morning. From Lady Grey, head east along Walton Street, which bends through a sharp 90 degree turn to the left, opposite a guest house. This is the western start of the pass. It's possible to drive the pass from the opposite direction, but from a scenic perspective and having the light behind you, the clockwise option starting in Lady Grey is the far better option. As the road leaves the village, it immediately plunges into a forest of shady trees and begins climbing gently. The gradient increases progressively and at the one kilometer mark, there's a small clearing on the left under a stand of blue gum trees, followed shortly by a fork in the road. The left hand fork leads to the base of the Lady Grey Dam wall, which is a wonderful spot to while away some time or perhaps enjoy a picnic. For those wanting to drive the pass itself, keep right and remain on the main road. The trees now start thinning out as the road starts ascending more steeply and it curves into the right and suddenly you're out of the tree line as the direction changes briefly into the south. Lady Grey is much more than a country village. Firstly, it has considerable history. The farm Vyhoek was originally purchased by the Dutch Reformed Church with a view to expanding their congregation into this region. It was officially established on the 30th of April 1857 and named after Elisa Lucy Grey, daughter of Sir Edward Spencer and wife of Sir George Grey, who was governor of the Cape Colony at the time. Soon you'll arrive at a second fork. Keep left here as the right hand option leads to a small farm dam which can't be seen from the road. The road now crosses the stream that feeds this dam via a concreted drift and a big U-shaped bend towards the left. Slow right down here as the corners are often rough and rutted due to washaways. The town of Lady Grey boasts a first class junior and secondary school focused entirely on the arts and gifted children in that direction known as the Lady Grey Performing Arts Academy. It has already produced some of South Africa's top talents. The town is well geared towards the eco-tourist with several B&B style guest houses where they focused on nature lovers, stargazers, bird watchers and the fly fishing enthusiast with many of the crystal clear streams in the area providing first class catches. Tucked away in a valley below the majestic Witteberg mountains, Lady Grey is a hidden gem, a tranquil rural village surrounded by soaring mountains, crisp clean air and gentle streams. The road now enters another tight U-shaped left-hand bend as a small stream is crossed, then curves gently to the right, following the shape of the mountain, until the heading settles back down into the southeast, where it parallels the river that flows in the deep valley on the left. In the village, a number of charming country cottages provide a cosy retreat for the wary traveller. Old buildings have been restored to attract tourists and relocators. The town attracts nature lovers, bird watchers, hikers, stargazers and fly fishing enthusiasts. Keep a lookout for a number of small signboards which give the names of the various geographical features and historical points of interest. Within a short distance, the road enters a wide right hand curve following the shape of the contour. Here there's yet another fork with the left hand option heading down to the upper reaches of the Lady Grey Dam which is visible in the valley to the left. The two roads leading to the dam both offer different vantage points. The first leads to a point directly below the dam wall, whilst the second leads to the banks of the dam itself. At the 4.2 km point, the road reaches the headwaters of the main river and switches direction into the northeast via a triple set of S bends. This section lasts for approximately 700 meters after which the road bends through a 90 degree right hand bend skirting a peak which has an altitude of 2,276 meters. The next few kilometers are quite dramatic as the drop-offs to the left become very steep and the views over the valley are expansive. Part 1 of this series on the Jabez Pass ends at a stone wall signposted as Vance Afgrond. 
Be sure to watch parts 2 and 3 to gain a complete perspective of what this magical pass has to offer.